Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today I'm doing something a little bit different of the sorts. I mean, I don't really know how to feel. I guess, or film, sorry. Um, shoot, where do I start? I guess today I'm going to talk about insecurities that um, I have and that some of you might have as well. Um, after having babies, of course, you know, and also how our husbands treat us after we have babies. <laughs> Let me take out my hair. So to start off with, um, one of my biggest things is that my husband, you know, checks out other women and watches, you know, porn, you know, and that he's hurt me. Never I was pregnant with my first baby. Um, instead of cuddling with me, you know, having intercourse with me and stuff, he would rather, you know, go to the bathroom and jack off to another bitch on a porn video. You know, when he looked at other women nude, you know, and that made me feel so sad, you know. It made me go back into my eating disorder. If y'all didn't know, I had suffered anorexia for six years of my life. It's something that I battle still. Um, we'll get into that later. But yeah, my husband would watch videos of naked women and all that, and it made me feel useless and worthless, you know, and ugly. You know, a little bit down the road, you know, he said that he would stop, you know, that he loved me and only me, you know, and I was like, okay. You proved me different, but okay. So, go back down to me getting pregnant with my second son, my last baby. He did the same thing. He would look at, you know, hot moms with tattoos on Facebook. He would watch porn videos. He watched videos of women shaking their boobs and stuff. And I, I was like, really? You know, am I not good enough for you? Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, what can I do to make myself better? You know, and now after having my two kids, he's, he was looking at videos and stuff still. But I, like, said, you know what? No. If you're going to do that. I'm going to leave because, you know, I deserve to feel like I'm enough, you know? I mean, why am I not enough? You know, that's a question that I ask myself every day. Like, why am I not enough for you? Like, why do you think that I'm ugly? You know, like, what? I don't know. Here's something that I'm very emotional about, and it's my stomach. You know, after I had my first son, I didn't really have that much issues losing weight. And after my second baby, you know, my left foot still swells. I've got it checked out. They said I didn't have no blockage or anything. You know, it's just pregnancy edema still, I guess is what it's called. You know, it just swells whenever I stand on it for a long period of time. That's something I'm really insecure about is my foot. Um, also my stomach. I'm so embarrassed to show y'all. But y'all can see stretch marks. See where I have a little pouch. It's like hard to lose that, you know. I do so many different exercises and stuff, and I've tried many different diets, and I don't know what to do. Sorry. It's like, I never had trouble losing weight before or anything, and now it's like after my second baby, it's like, no matter what I do, I can't lose my stomach. I stay at the same weight, you know, and I'm just losing hope in myself because I just want to feel pretty again. You know, I just want to feel like I'm good enough again, you know? <coughs> Sorry, guys. You know, and it's just hard doing that whenever your husband, you know, doesn't make you feel like a beautiful woman. You know, instead he'd rather look at other women or, you know, watch other women on Facebook instead of, you know, being there with you. <coughs> and, you know, I haven't worn makeup as much anymore. You know, wearing lingerie at all because I'm so insecure about myself. It's just, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to love myself and find myself. But it's hard, you know, because I want to lose my baby tummy. You know, everything else I don't care about but my stomach. You know, it's like, I don't know what to do. <coughs> I'm trying all these different kinds of exercises, all these diets and everything. Everyone's like, oh, it's going to take time. Bitch, it's been like over a year. Like, what's going on, you know? I've had testing, everything's fine, my thyroid's fine, you know, I mean, I don't know what else is wrong with me, you know, I just want to be perfect, well, not perfect, but I want to feel pretty again, you know, I want to be myself, I can't even wear, you know, shirts that I used to be able to wear because of my stomach and also my boobs, because my boobs grew, 
like they grew. Okay, like they grew. And you know, I can't wear pants that I have. You know, it's like every time I go to the store and I see all these cute clothes, it just makes me want to cry. You know, because I'm ugly. You know, I feel ugly and I don't have confidence in myself anymore. You know. <coughs> if you have any tips below on what to do for my stomach, you know, what types of exercises because I've tried so many, you know, just sign off below, like, <coughs> your insecurities and stuff after having babies and how y'all overcame them, you know, and stuff like that, you know, I just, I need talking to, I don't know, I just feel like I'm alone in this, you know, it's like all my other mom friends and stuff, it's like, boom they're back you know i'm like after my second baby it's like what the fuck's wrong with me you know it's like i don't know i hate going out anymore i hate going to public places because of my body you know and i'm like i feel like people are looking at me because of i'm i'm fat i'm a well you know it's like look at that it's like you know god you know i used to be like a size five and now i'm like a size 10 and you know it's just i don't know I'm, I'm sorry to put this on you guys, you know, it's just that I have a lot of insecurities, you know, just like my underarms, you know, I haven't been able to buy a weight set because of money situations and I can't really lift weights, so I have to just do push-ups and that's another insecurity of mine. Um, my chin area, you know, I don't know, I, I just wish that I could do something to make myself feel better about myself, you know, and everyone says, oh, it's, her, it's about loving yourself and finding happiness in yourself. You know, I can't find happiness in myself because of how people look at me and treat me, you know, and my stomach, you know, I just want to lose my baby tummy and maybe I'd start feeling a little bit better, you know. But yeah, you guys, I just thought I'd come on here and talk to you about some of my insecurities that I have. I, I find it hard to voice you know, because a lot of people just tell me, oh, it's no big deal, you know, you're fine. I'm like, how can you say that I'm fine, you know, whenever I'm here crying about it every day at night, you know, I just, I cry about it all the time, you know, because I just want to be, like, me again, you know, I just want to feel like I'm myself, you know, and I can't without losing this tummy. I just want to be okay again. But yeah, you guys, I just want to come on here and talk to y'all for a bit. I hope y'all are doing well. But anyways, talk to y'all guys later. Bye.